Hi, I'm Brittany, and in this video I'm going to talk about what it means to have your moon in Leo. So what is the moon sign? The moon represents our inner self, our emotions, our early childhood life, and kind of like our inner child as well. So when you have the moon in the fiery sign of Leo, everything that happens to you is a big deal. And you make everything a big deal and your inner emotions are very big and expansive and everything you feel, you feel with great love in your heart or equally great hate. And it's a very strong feeling moon. And I don't mean feeling like in emotions like as in we're crying all the time and being super sensitive and receptive to other people's feelings. It's not... It's not like a water sign moon, but it's a very dramatic feeling moon where things affect you very deeply or they don't affect you at all. So it's kind of an all or nothing moon um, in this way. So, and it's a very childlike moon that your inner child is very alive and you, you know what makes you happy, you know what makes you sad and you know yourself too um, and also the qualities of your sun sign will be greatly accentuated with this moon so because Leo is ruled by the Sun so the moon is kind of reflecting the Sun's light so usually people with the moon and Leo are going to really strongly identify with their sun sign as well and express those qualities in a dramatic playful type of way and um, this is a very good-hearted moon, generally. It's, it's uh, you want to see people for the best of what they are. And you want to look at things and situations in a positive light, usually. Um, you can really inspire people with your big emotions to feel confidence in themselves. Um, but on the negative side, if you're feeling a little bit low yourself or you're not feeling confident in yourself, this can be one of the most difficult moons to maybe be around because everything is so life and death for you and emotions are so huge and everything affects you in a big way that if you're feeling low or you're feeling heartbroken, heartbreak is a huge thing for this moon. If you're feeling low, heartbroken, or not that good about yourself, you can make the people around you very miserable because of your huge emotional displays. Although you won't like to show too much of your negative emotions to people that you're not that comfortable with, but people that are in your family or close friends will see this side of you that's actually... Um, can be quite miserable. If things aren't going your way and you're not feeling good about yourself, it's like, it feels like the whole world is ending with this moon. Although, you can't stay in these depressed emotional states very long. Usually something will come along to give you faith in life again. And yeah, so usually your heartbreaks won't last forever. Um, unless you make it so and you can make it so with this moon. It's really up to you how you want to feel because um, When the pride is involved when your heart gets hurt or uh, And your pride is involved with almost everything you do it can be Easier for you to stay in this place of self-righteous resentment that, than the other moons because Leo moon has a lot of pride so if someone hurts you or breaks your heart, you're, you can tend to wallow in this kind of, yeah, like a um, self-righteous state for quite a while and, and without realizing that you're doing this. So it's a good thing to be aware of that other people have feelings too and the whole world doesn't revolve around you and if someone hurts you, it's probably not that they're meaning to, okay? People don't usually mean to hurt us, it's just way life goes we get hurt and Leo Moon often has to learn through heartbreak because what this moon is trying to learn is to let go of this self-absorbed self-righteous inner world and actually 
just become this light, um, expansive, generous, loving moon that showers everybody in a sunny warmth, okay? And with this moon, you got to learn how to be able to be in that state unconditionally. So whether or not um, life is going well in every possible way for you, or if your lover is doing what you want them to do, or if your family is um, listening to you, you have to be able to be that sunny person that you are. That is the truth of your being. If you have Leo Moon, you are a very sunny, bright individual on the inside, and you have a lot of happiness and joy within you. Um, and you're learning to be able to be that unconditionally, no matter what is going on around you. Um, but yeah, so the reason why people with Leo Moon can get their hearts broken a lot is that they don't want to see people for what they are, but um, only their best qualities, which is actually a lovely thing. And usually this will work out fine for them, but sometimes people can fall off the pedestal and because Leo Moon puts people in situations up here and then people can come back down to earth and that's when Leo Moon can get a little heartbroken like whoa this perfect person ended up being just a normal person like what could have happened well Leo Moon you put them up there to begin with no one can stay up there forever so um that can happen too what else what else what else um yeah when this moon gets dedicated to something this is a fixed sign moon, so you can really stick with it. And usually the inner emotions are not easily swayed from things. So it's generally a friendly and uplifting moon, but once you've made your mind up about something, it doesn't really matter what other people are saying or doing. You're probably going to stick with it. And um, it's, it's a pretty outgoing moon sign. And you can sense this energy in people when they have Leo moon is that they're their moves, even if they are naturally more a shy sun sign or, or sun, you can still see the inner self shining through that is quite outgoing. So on the inside, these people are very extroverted. And um, if like the rest of the chart agrees and their confidence is high, these are some of the most outgoing people. They're kind of the life of the party. They want to make sure everybody's having fun and especially they're having fun. And um, they they like to be in the spotlight. They don't they don't hate selfies. They don't hate making videos on the internet or being on a TV show. They don't really hate that. I mean, depending on the rest of their chart, though, it could be it could show that they wouldn't. But usually, Leo Moon is gonna like being in the spotlight. And another thing, there is a subconscious. So they might not be aware of this subconscious power urge. So these people want to be in power. They want to be the boss. They're not really comfortable being the one being told what to do. Um, they really want to run things. They want to run their their lives. Also like Mars and Leo too. They want to rule, be the ruler over their lives and their emotions. And But generally they're going to do this in a very happy, um, positive way. So they can be very good bosses because they're usually so sunny and bright and they they're actually nice people and they see the good qualities in other people right so this is not a person this is a good person to actually be in charge but yeah they if they remain too long in situations where they feel like they're being put down this is when this pride comes out and they they're not gonna like that so they need to honor themselves and not be too nice that they're not allowing themselves to get the recognition that they feel they deserve and, and want. This moon likes to be appreciated also. They love compliments. They love likes on their pictures on Facebook. They, they love um, being told that they're beautiful and that all the, oh, they're so great. And because, because deep down they know they are. That's the thing with this moon. Deep down they know that they are great. And that's why they can help others feel the greatness within them because they feel good about themselves on the inside. They can actually bring out the best qualities in everybody else. And they're very good with kids. 
because their inner child is so active and alive within them and it never fully goes away. So these are some of the best parents. Um, although, yeah, they're like big kids themselves, but so they relate easily with children and they have fun with children and they, they hang out with kids like they're the same age as them. They don't put this barrier up like I'm the parent and you're the kid. They become the kid. They're friends with the kid. Like it's um, a very natural bond with children. And all Leo energy is like that, but especially the moon in Leo because the moon rules the family and home as well. Um, what else? What else? Um, yeah, great actors and actresses. These people are, because they're so expressive, they can easily act out situations with, yeah, they're very dramatic people, so they can be really good actors. Um, bosses, speakers, and yeah, it's easy to tell people with the moon and Leo. Okay, I'm talking for a while here. This video is a little bit longer because I have moon and Leo, so it's like my first-hand experience info here. Um, and yeah, when I when I first read about what moon and Leo was, when I was when I was first getting into astrology, I didn't really know what a moon sign was or anything. And then when I read moon and Leo, I was like, oh, I have never heard anything describe me so well in my life. And I was hooked on astrology from then after reading moon and Leo. And I really related to moon and Leo more than I was relating to my son and Taurus at the time. But it's because we're growing into our sun, and the moon is that deeply unconscious emotional part of us that we already are and our sun is what we're going into so it's common to feel more like your moon sign especially when younger and especially if you're a woman feel more like your moon sign than your sun sign anyways okay that's a little bit about moon and leo i hope that made sense i feel like i kind of talked all over the place but it's a fun moon and and usually these people are are likable because of their sunny warmth but some of the negative qualities is that they see everything from the point of view of themselves. They can wallow in self-righteous resentment and get heartbroken over a lot of things. Oh, and they're very sensitive to criticism. These people do not like being criticized. They don't like negative comment. They don't like any type of negative feedback. So the ego is very sensitive here. And um, But because of this, they're not usually the person that's going to be putting others down either because they don't like how that feels so they generally try to bring everybody up with them but so it can be particularly devastating when others shut them down or try to bring them bring down their ego right but because the moon can also represent past lives too and they do say that with leo moon the person could have been royalty or famous or so these people kind of inwardly feel like queens or kings or rulers, so they, they don't like to be brought down from, from this place. And usually they're so sunny and warm and happy that nobody would try to bring them down, but there are people out there that will, and it can hurt Leo Moon a lot more than other people. They don't handle criticism very well at all. And they're usually very sexual people because Leo rules the fifth house of Moon. They have an emotional attachment to their love affairs they're they're very loving and loyal people and a lot of their energy will be spent with the partner trying to make the partner feel loved and appreciated and they they love feeling that in return so they they live for love affairs and romance and children too they're great with so yeah that's a little bit about leo moon thanks for watching